Hey, so you caught me at a cafe. Have some oat cakes and the coffee. It's probably not the most nutritious food, but every now and then we can cop a break and we know that we're supposed to eat healthy. We try to do that all the time, but sometimes a oat cake and a coffee is also pretty good. Listen, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what happens when we're not eating very healthily. Not just not eating very healthily like eating a Big Mac now and then, but having problems with our eating. You know, we are all concerned about what we eat, what kind of food we eat, how much we eat, what it does to our bodies. So a lot of the time, young people want to eat the right thing. And sometimes we start to say, my gosh, I put on too much weight. I'm going to eat less or I'm going to exercise way more. And we do that off and on. Sometimes we go on a diet, sometimes we exercise. That's perfectly normal. Lots of people do that. No big deal. But sometimes worries or concerns about eating take over from us. And one of two different kinds of problems can happen with eating. One kind of problem is called bulimia nervosa. And then if that kind of problem happens, the person starts to eat large amounts of food, like a bucket of ice cream, a bag of potato chips, a bucket of chicken, you know, four or five pieces of bread, a couple of sandwiches, lots of drinks, all at one time. And you, you feel this incredible urge to eat as much as possible. You eat and you eat and you eat. And when you finish, you feel, oh, that was terrible. You feel like, I'm guilty. I shouldn't have eaten all that. Sometimes you just throw it up. And, and that becomes a big problem. And that's called bulimia. It's a difficulty with eating. And it can be helped. But the only person that can get help for that would be you. You know if that is a problem for you. Other people won't know. Another eating problem is called anorexia nervosa, and that's when you think you're really too fat, but you're not. You're actually below normal in your weight, and anorexia nervosa can give you all sorts of problems. You start starving yourself, you don't do the things that you should be doing, you start avoiding your friends and family. It's not good for you. It's unhealthy. We don't know really what causes eating disorders, but we do know that there's good help for eating disorders. So if there's a problem with your eating, if you think that you're eating way too little, if you think you're eating way too much in terms of binges like bulimia, go and talk to your family doctor. Talk to your parents. Talk to your teachers. They're there to help you.